now we will learn about executing c sharp class method as a pre build or a post build events or operations okay let's look at that so first create a project i want to create a asp.net code web application so test project so my project name is test project create it's an api project so i have selected api template and uh, unselected uh, https okay i am creating it so my project got created here is my project so normally so if you want to add a pre build or post build operations you need to go to properties of your project so you can go into this right click on your project select properties okay so or you can double click this properties thing here okay so here and in this first one is application build build events so build events is a or uh, pre build or a post build events command line so here we need to mention our command lines so normally we can execute uh, this thing in two ways so first way is we can add some unit test cases and unit or some x unit so then we can add those uh, test cases file here so that those test cases will be executed that's one way another way is uh, <coughs> creating console application and uh, adding some classes and methods in it and we can give here whatever the class or method we want to execute here okay let's do the second one so for that i just want to add a console application add new project i want to add a dot net core console application so it's a console app one create so it's my project console app one so it is uh, having a class program and a main method so here i have a hello world let me modify it a little bit uh, hello world from uh, pre build so i have modified it so save now so now i have built it so that the exe file would be generated so exe file for this console application will be generated okay now let's go back to our test project properties here is our properties so click this edit pre build so here we have uh, some macros macros means predefined paths so if you want to if you want to go to output directory so you can select this and insert or you can double click this so that will be inserted into your pre build so this will be adding a path of output directory so this is the value it will get so if you insert this snippet then that will be replaced with this path okay so in our case our case it is different so
sorry. So we have our two projects. We have two projects, and uh, these two projects will be there in this solution directory. So we need to add macro for solution directory. I want to take a solution directory here. So what is my solution directory? Yeah, this one. So this one is a solution directory. This is my solution directory. So I'm inserting it. So I have my solution directory. So now I need to. So solution directory means we are having this one. C colon blah 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 test project slash. So here it will be having a slash. It will be included with slash. Then after slash, I need to have a console application. So I need to insert console app one dot exe. So when we built it, so this will be generating the exe file. So if you want to see that. So here it is. So this one is the exe file generated when we built it. So copy that. So I have copied that. So in this directory, first we need to copy this one. So we need to copy what? This one. We got till that as a solution directory. So this part is a solution directory we got it through that macro then we need to put this one project directory this is a project directory copy this first okay solution directory then project directory slash exe file name copy so that's our command so this is a solution directory directory slash project directory slash console application one so save it so now we have saved it so in the output clear all we have cleared everything the output window so we have uh, added it here so now when the so now I'm building it. So the instant I built it, so this will be executed and we can see that message in the output window. I'm building it. See that it started building. So we have configured pre build operation, right? So first it executed the pre build operation, then it has completed the build. Okay. This is how we can configure pre build operations of our C sharp application. So, in the same way, we can run, we can configure it for post build. It says post build is similar to this one, but uh, so putting it in a below one. You can see it here post build event command line. So save it and uh, rebuild it. See this one. So build has started and build has completed, then the post build got executed. Okay. So why we are seeing pre build here? Because we are seeing pre build here is because we didn't uh, build this one. So now we have built it. Now we can see this one. So if we build, then only the changes will occur. We have modified it, right? So now we build it. We can see post build from post build. Okay. This is how we can. 
execute c sharp class or a method from pre build or post build event thank you please like share and subscribe